Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another in-depth video. We're going over the LR Cora card. Now, this is the Metal Cora Corpse card, and I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, from when I first saw the card, I didn't really think it was that great of a unit. I, I still kind of don't. Um, I, I did see the Reddit post, and we're gonna talk about that Reddit post and the damage output and everything, but um, I looked at the card and I was like, why? how is this an LR? You know, how is this supposed to be something that's good? Then I realized after looking at the card, and I realized that it's because it's a free-to-play LR card. And then I started looking at all the other free-to-play LR cards, and I was like, oh, wow, he's actually really good compared to the free-to-play ones. You know, I had the mentality of comparing him to, like, Dokken Fest exclusives and to compare him to uh, other LRs. And while he's, you know, he's competitive with the Dokken Fest exclusives, the LR, some of the LR, other LRs, he is definitely out-damaged very easily. But with that being said, he is still a very good unit. He actually turns out to be a really good unit. Um, let's go ahead and talk about him. Leader ability, extreme class, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 70%. That stat buff is kind of whack, but he is an extreme type leader, and if you don't have Rosé, he's a good fill-in for him if you, you know, want to run him. Um, super attack, supernova, and machine rain. Supernova is 12 to 17 key, causes colossal damage to the enemy. Greatly lowers defense. Machine rain is 18 key or more. Mega colossal damage to the enemy and raises extreme class allies attacks by 30% for one turn, which is awesome. His passive skill, Legion of Nightmare, raises attack and defense up to, but by up to 90%. With more HP remaining, the greater the stat buff. High chance to launch up to two additional ta attacks, each of which has a rare chance to become a super attack. Now, I that that part of that passive, I feel like he should have had. What was it? Who was that uh, attack passive that had the Vegito? I think he should have had at least one of those attacks at a higher probability, like a medium chance to be a super attack. Just because chances are, if it's a rare chance, chances are it's always going to be a standard attack. And that's just time consumption at that point. You know what I mean? Like, unless they added something like the additional attacks have um, a high chance to be a crit or medium chance to crit, something like that. But no, I mean, whatever. He's free to play, though. I can't be too angry about that. Uh, Link skills are strongest clan in space, fear and faith. Big bad bosses, auto generation, regeneration, shocking speed, nightmare and legendary power. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. His link skills are actually really good. Uh, strongest clan in space, eh. Uh, Fear and Faith is awesome because a lot of them have it. Big Bad Bosses is also another awesome one. Auto Regeneration, maybe not so common, but HP Recovery is always, always nice. Shocking Speed and Nightmare. Now, the one thing that stinks is, out of all these, they're all damn key links. The only attack buff he has is uh, Nightmare. Uh, and Legend Legendary Power, technically, but that's a flat-out buff. Um, well, you don't want that. And he's only going to be getting that when he links with an LR. So, Nightmare is really the only thing you want. But the good thing about Nightmare is it's very common amongst villains. Now, he's part of the Resurrected Warriors category and Movie Bosses category, and we're going to talk about some little bit of teams as well. Um, his max stats are HP of 16, 950, which is pretty decent for an LR, obviously. Uh, attack of 12,030, and defense of 6538. So his stats are actually a little bit, you know, they're, they're nice. They are nice stats, especially that defense. That defense is awesome. Um, if you get him, I'm sure, certain some of you guys are going to fill in dupe system. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to look at the maxed out dupe system. This is no potential orbs unlocked. This is for all of them unlocked. Right now, as of right now in game, you can only get the bottom right unlocked or whatever path you choose. Most of you are going to choose the bottom right. Um, so that's who he is, right? And you get him from Virtual Battlefield or well, well, both Dok on Battlefield. And he costs, uh, there's actually 150,000 gems, it looks like, which is a lot. It is a lot. That's what he is available for. I won't be getting him myself, but you can get him. Um, anyway, uh, oh, before we start doing team building, I actually checked out this post over here. This is what changed my mind. Uh, Valicula96, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Shout out to the Reddit, by the way. Also, shout out to Dokkan Battle Wiki and Dokkan Battle .com, as always. Um, so he is going to have a huge impact on these three teams. Resurrect the Warriors, uh, Movie Bosses, and Extreme Intelligence. This unit paired with Metal Korra, at 100%, out damages LR Broly with Super Saiyan Bardock um, at a free dupe level. So that's that means the bottom right dupe path. So that just take that into consideration. LR Broly was one of the hardest hitting units in game at one point. Um, it, that, that just says a lot. Metal Korra, that, that just means the support unit Metal Korra because they link very, very well together. Um, you'll see that when I when I, I think I have a team building up. Right. Oh yeah, we'll do that in a second. Um, so once Metal Korra Corpse is linked with Metal Korra, they already start at 14 key, making them even more consistent than LR Bojack and TUR Bojack. So that means they're always going to be getting 14 key starting. That, that includes the passive from the Metacora. Um, quick calculations. Let's talk about Resurrected Warriors. He's going to be paired with Metacora. They have Nightmare. Activate 100% of the time. They'll have an average of 70% HP. Um, we'll reach an average of 20 key on each rotation. 
that's just an, that's just an average key so chances are you're always going to be getting off that 18 plus key attack sometimes you won't but i mean if you're starting out at 14 key i mean now think if you run a double lr bow jack lead you're gonna be starting off at 16 keys you're only two away so chances are though you're gonna get that 18 key um sample calculation with leader ability right 120 lead i think that is right um seven seventy four thousand passive 122,000 nightmare link 134,000 20 key multiplier 246,000 um the buffs from the super attack multiplier potential system 75 percent is the bottom right two path i believe that's how much the percentage is plus 30 percent if you get in the super attack 20 1.5 million average attack once value uh level six additional 15 crit and the built-in additionals and the 30 percent buffer factored in with crit um, oh, I'm sorry, per rotation, the average, including the additionals and 15 crit, it's going to be 2.78 million on average. Um, after doing some more calculations, this is going to be the best team. I already, I already talk, I'm going to talk about this in team building. Uh, you're good, your best team for this mono, uh, mono extreme intelligence, Metacora Corpse with Metacora, and LR Bojack with TUR Bojack, and your floaters. Obviously, and this is actually going to be the resurrected team, I'm sorry. Um, you're going to have Angel Gold and Frieza on rotations, and then Majin Vegeta. You can make this a full extreme uh, intelligence team and bring it to Super Battle Road, you probably won't have any problem. Just take Majin Vegeta and replace him with someone else. But yeah, that, that's a lot of damn damage. So yeah, thanks. Good on you for uh, Valley Kula 96 for that information. Thank you for the calculations in this. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I mean again, I would run this. Definitely I would run this because I just like my extreme types anyway. Um, even if some of the math, I don't, I, I think that all the math checks out good, but I'm just saying even if the math is off a little bit, I think that's a really good way to look at it because there you have a lot of good options here. Um, for Resurrected Warriors team. Now, there was his best linking buddies, uh, as discussed on the the Reddit post, five link skills with his other Metacora. Now, this is the Metacora over here. Um, attack plus 30% for all allies, uh, and key plus two. And then he has five link skills here, which is two, four, six key, 3% HP recovery, and 10% attack buff. That is just such a phenomenal linking buddy. Such an awesome linking buddy. I always like it when you have the HP regeneration there. Then you have the standard stuff. You have the uh, STR Janemba, the Intelligence Janemba, the LR Androids, LR Zamasu and Rose, and then the LR uh, Andro uh, Frieza, right? Now, the LRs are there just because they have legendary power. This is four or more. So, in terms of their links, it's going to be four key uh, and big bad bosses, four key big, or sorry, two key, 10% attack buff for Nightmare, and big bad bosses. So, Z Zamasu ain't that bad, actually. That's a pretty good link. Um, the Androids are definitely going to be four key, 10%. So, that's not bad. Um, and then the two Janembas, since they have the same link skills, Big Bad Boss of four key, 10%, yeah. And Big Bad Bosses, actually, these Janembas don't, aren't that bad either. So keep that in mind, too. I mean, if you don't have, for some reason, you don't have the support unit, the Intelligence Janemba ain't that bad to run right next to him. While there's no, that there's no HP regeneration between the two, four key, 10% attack buff, and Big Bad Bosses. So that's actually not that bad to run on Mono Intelligence. So you have, you have your options there for his best linking buddies. He definitely has some awesome options, even for the Mono Intelligence uh, teams. Now, moving on, for his Mono Extreme team or a mono extreme intelligence team is been best linking buddies as we already discussed are going to be the two the Korra and the Janemba but for three or more you have the new Frieza that just came out um we'll have to go translate that over to English for us um it's going to be well I mean really doesn't really don't need the actual translations but uh four key 10% attack buff shocking speed strongest clan in space for Hellfighter 17 it's going to be four key 10% attack buff and for Frieza or Kariza um, or no, so Saliza, sorry, Saliza is going to be ten, uh, two key and 10% attack buff all the time with Nightmare and Big Bad Bosses when it's activated. So that's pretty good. He has some decent links. Um, I don't think we're ever going to run any of these three on a team. Um, the Hellfighter 17 isn't that bad. What was it? It was key plus two, key, uh, yeah, key plus two, attack plus 90% up when facing one enemy. Uh, and then this Frieza over here, he's just a free to play one, but he is a support unit. So you can definitely have him on rotation right in the middle like that like on something like this would probably be good for a rotation on an extreme something like that because he will get the buffs if you want him to and he'll give him four additional key and this guy will always be getting attack buffs like uh, well getting the 18 key when he's in the middle because he has that coming from the frieza or from any of the other support units so it just just oh my god just keep that in mind <laughs> it's so awesome um anyway i'm um, over here for the resurrected category uh resurrected category you have uh, we already talked about this you, you have this guy the core over here you do have Cell. Um, Cell is three or more. So Cell is cool. Big, he has big bad bosses, two key, 10% attack buff. Uh, and then you dwindle down to two key, to two link skills. Uh, big bad bosses, legendary power. Um, this is two key and temper nightmare, 10% attack buff. And Demigra has uh, big bad bosses and two. 
So honestly, he doesn't have that many people on a Resurrected Warrior team except for his own Korra. Uh, if you don't have him, you're probably not going to want to run him on this team then, just to keep that in mind. Um, so outside of that, like if you don't have uh, the, the regular standard meta Korra, you're not going to want to run him. Just because there's no one else really to link with him. Um, now moving on, this is Big Bad Boss's team or Movie Boss team. Uh, obviously Korra again. Uh, you do have some other options. We already know about the Janemba. All four Janembas, oh, I'm sorry, all three Janembas link with him. Uh, the agility one, I think he's a little bit different. Is he a little bit different? Let's translate that to English real quick. Um, he has the, um, oh, I thought I saw the key regeneration in there, the, the health regeneration. No, uh, shocking speed, fear and faith, nightmare, and big bad bosses. That's pretty much the same across the board, yeah. So they're all getting that. So he does have some good people to link with, though. Four key 10% attack buff and big bad bosses is definitely not that bad. You also have the Agility Korra, which is a support unit, but I believe he's only for Agility um, type. Yeah, it's, a, it's only Agility type, so you're never going to have those two on one team. They do link for three or more. And the actual 120 lead Korra, who is going to be four key in Big Bad Bosses. It's not that bad. Um, he doesn't have that many people to link with. Again, really, the only time you're going to want to run this LR Korra is if you have his best linking buddy slash support unit. Um, it's kind of like that Goku with the Super Saiyan, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, though the Super Saiyan 4 Goku obviously is always better with with or without him, it doesn't matter. Um, obviously you want it with him because you get the nice buffs. But, just saying, in terms of that, you have other linking buddies. This guy doesn't have that many other linking buddies, unless you want to throw in one of the Janembas alongside of him. But Janemba, Janemba already has better linking buddies to choose from. Um, in terms of what was said from the Reddit post, this is what was run. Korra, Korra, LR Bojack, TUR Bojack. Um, the two freezes for the Resurrected Warrior team. And then I threw Kid Boo in there. You don't have to throw Kid Boo in there. You can go ahead and you could throw that damn, what was it, that Frieza that was over here that I saw. Um, he is intelligent, so I, yeah, actually this is part of, we yeah, to put none over there. Um, so you throw him up over in there as well. So there you go. And you have him in there for the buffs. So, I mean, he doesn't really need the buffs himself personally, but you can definitely throw him up in there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, he's a cool unit. I'd like him. Um, let's see over here. I just want to go to Resurrected Warriors. I just need to check on that freezer. I don't think he does. He does not mono intelligence. It's only 50%, but he at least does the intelligence. So at least that freezer will be getting that nice buff. But overall, again, I, I don't think he's a phenomenal unit. He only has really one place, maybe two. Um, but you have to have that Korra. I mean, a lot of us do have him because it's a very common pull. But just keep that in mind when you're doing team building with him. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that was helpful and informative, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.